Hey guys, I'm back with a brand new video. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to set up my new AI system. Uh, it's pretty much like Gorilla Tech Hard's AI. Um, download will be in link in description uh, to go to my Discord server and get to the GitHub for it. Once you've gone to the GitHub and my Discord, then you should have this new folder, New Assets. Once you get this new folder, you have to open up this, open up Prefabs, drag out AI, and then center it. Once you have it, you can unpack it completely. So, I will go into deeper explanation on what all of this does. But, so for right now, this, uh, do not touch any of this. Do not touch any of this. This will probably be removed in later on, in the later updates. But, yeah. So, these are kind of self-explanatory, etc, etc. Once you have dragged the AI manager once you've dragged the AI out into your scene and unpacked it, you're going to want to open up Collider, put your model here, and you want to put your model in here. So, once you've done all of that, you're going to want to go into the AI manager and you're going to want to set the tag string to the tag that you want. And the way how you want to set it up is by going into, if you want to look up Gorilla, you want to find your, where is this? Yeah, I think it's called Gorilla Play Player. There we go. You're gonna want to open up your Gorilla Player, and you're gonna want to create a new empty game object with the tag of the tag that you put inside of the script. So I put mine down as CDM as a test. So that is what I'll put the tag as. And you're also gonna want to have this centered to the head, so then it does track the correct position. Once you have done that. Then, inside of put your model here, this is the um, respawn script. Credit to Flimsy for making this. Um, <clears throat> so, Gorilla Player, you're going to want to put your Gorilla Player in Gorilla Player. Respawn Point, you're going to want to make a new empty game object. And you can call it Respawn Point, you don't have to. Uh, then you drag this over to where you'd like the player to respawn. Once you have a respawn point, you want to go back over to the script. You want to drag in respawn point to there. Maps to disable. You're going to want to put like all of the maps you'd like to disable inside the script. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. So once you have it all set up, it should almost be working. Now what you have to do is you have to set up these two components. So. I have some explanation on what these components do. So, spawn point is where the monster spawns. So, I'm going to move this over to where I'd like my monster to spawn, which is going to be in the middle of forest. So, where does it go? So, in the middle of forest. Respawn. So, if the AI is below the y-axis of it, then the AI will respawn back at spawn point. Uh, it fixes some glitches, like with the AI falling out of the map, uh, etc. So, yeah. So now, your AI should be working. Uh, there is an audio in here that was made a little while ago. If you don't have one, you can use that. Um, and yeah, next video will be me teaching you guys how to set up this. So, stay tuned for that. And uh, have a good rest of your day. Peace.